Hi, this is Sandy Joe from RhinestoneTemplates.com. And I had a friend that was asking how to manipulate um, this particular logo around so that he could cut it and use it um, in vinyl and uh, um, for a sign. So I want to just show you how to use some of the tools, how I would work this, or I'm sure there are other ways of doing it but this is how I, I would work this particular thing. First of all, when you look at it, it looks like it's a pretty clean cut EPS file. It looks like it's ready to cut, but if you come um, down into your bottom toolbar and you hit the W, which is the wireframe, which takes all color out, it actually shows you that there's some overlapping of the white little waves lines that go through. They overlap and those are going to be cut out um, when my friend cuts out and tries to layer this over so this white piece here will actually be outside of the circle. So that's a concern that we have. And then the second concern is actually he wants to um, take and make the circle on the outside here. He wants this to be two different colors. So I'm just going to show you some easy ways how to do that and go ahead and do that. And I would also, if I'm going to be cutting it out, um, you know, I might be leaving these little water droplets in there or I might not. But what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to blow up um, enlarge with the enlarging tool. And you can also do this just by clicking your magnifying glass and it enlarges little by little. But this is a, a pretty good size for me. So this is what we'll work with. The first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is how to take this circle and make it into two. So he can cut one side, say, blue and one side of it red. Um, and then layer his other vinyl over the top of it. And how you do that is you come over to your left hand toolbar, the long toolbar that goes down that has your color palette and your magnifying glass and um, some of your other things in it. Um, come down to your second little thing, the move point, little tab, click on that and up on top of your top toolbar then what you're going to see is you're going to see a lot of different things that show up that didn't show up before and what I want to grab is I want to grab um, actually the second pair of scissors because I want to make a cut straight line all the way through this particular object here. If I um, if I grabbed the first one here um, I'll actually show you how to work with that. Let's just grab a little, make a little rectangle here. And um, if I were to grab my, um, go back to your move point and um, go over to your first scissors, which is what we don't want to use for the circle, but um, how you work with this is you actually make with you click on your left hand mouse and you make little dots on that area and when you've done that then you've actually created an area that you can move without lines in it. Um, but to do it on this particular image I want to make a line all the way through because I want it to be solid on the two sides. So that's why I'm not going to use that pair of scissors but you might have a purpose for that pair at a different date. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and, and do here is click again on my move point on the left hand corner the second tab down and go to my second set of scissors that shows cutting through a piece of paper. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to overlap and I have to cut through two points so we have more than two here but I'm going to bring a line and cut all the way through. So I'm going to go ahead and start my, my line and get it as straight as you can before you release your mouse because you're holding down your left hand mouse key right now and I'm still holding it and I've got my line I think pretty good and straight. So it's crossed over my line on the top and the line on the bottom of the circle and I'm going to release it and oh, I think I forgot to ungroup this. Let's just go ahead and back up here. Oops. Let's go ahead and back up and get I'll go back in out of my wireframe. Yep, I'm still grouped. So first good thing to remember, go ahead and always um ungroup or break all first. And then let's go ahead and go back in. I, I broke all now into my wireframe again and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna enlarge so we can get really nice and um close and see what we're doing here. So I am going to go back to my move point tab, go back over to my second pair of scissors, go ahead and grab my, I have my left um, mouse button held down and I'm holding it down all the way. I've crossed over the two lines on the top and the bottom that I want to. Now I'm letting go and now what you can see is the lines on the outside are gone but it's made this big line in through here. 
And at this point, I can take, I've gone back to my regular marquee up here, I can take click and click this, and I can move this if I want to. And when I can move that as a separate thing, it also means that I can color it separately. I'm going to bring it back in and come out of my wireframe for a second and show you what I mean by I can color it. And that way you can cut to color if you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and make that side pink and I'll leave this side purple over here. And now if I wanted to, I could cut this separate in pink and these all the rest of it in purple and then the, the white here would actually be a third color would be white. So going back into wireframe again. So I've got my two colors cut the, or separated the way I want for cutting. And um, now I'm going to enlarge even more because I'm going to come down and work this this detail right down in this area here. I'm going to be working with the same tool and I call it my cut tool. I'm going to work with the same tool and I'm actually going to get rid of that. Um, so again I'm coming over to my move point tool, second one down. I'm going to grab my cut scissors and this one's going to be a little tricky because it's so close but just take and draw your line over the where the two lines are and do the same thing down through here. Don't you don't want to cut your circle off, you know, that you have in your circle here, but you want to come through here and I'm just holding my left mouse down and um clicking that in. And now um I'll go ahead and I uh, take this and I have a separate piece. So I removed that separate piece. And a lot of our EPS files, things come in and we don't want it or um, it can be just a little bit different and we want to go ahead and you know just trim things up and make it look nicer and this this cutting tool comes in very very handy. This one here I could go ahead and trim this a little bit more if I want or I could just go ahead and just bring it in just a little bit too into that image and uh, but that's how you work with your cut tool and your move point tools. And again, you know, play around with the first pair of scissors and the second pair of scissors. The second pair of scissors give you a closed cut. The first pair of scissors give you an open cut. And um, just see what, you know, what works best for you. And you may have a different way of doing this, but this is just the way that I, I found to be able to work with those tools. I do a lot of signs and a lot of heat press vinyl and different things as well as the rhinestones. So this just lets me work with this program even more than, than how I would have before. But at this point we have a nice EPS ready to go ahead and cut. Um, and, um, you know, just use that snipping, or not the snipping, but the cut tool. And if you have any more questions, this is again the Sandy Joe at rhinestonetemplates.com. Um, on my website, we um, sell all of the supplies for rhinestone template creating and hot fix rhinestones and a lot of the other goodies. If you're in need of any supplies or any of the rhinestone downloads or anything, just give me a, um, a holler over at rhinestonetemplates.com and I'd be glad to custom make anything for you or you can pick from my stock um, products too that I have in EPS or SVG files. I also am a creator of RT rhinestone typable true type fonts and I have a lot of fonts over there too if you need anything with that. But again, this is WinPC Sign 2010 and how to use that, that cutting tool. And um, look forward to making more videos for you. Thank you. Hi, this is Sandy Joe from rhinestonetemplates.com.